Welcome everyone to Saturday Home Time with Robbie and Susie. Today we are going to learn about spiders. Incy wincy spiders. I can't wait. Let's go. Hi, I'm Robbie. Hi, I'm Susie. Hi, I'm Miss Carly, the teacher. It's time for Home Time with Robbie and Susie. So excited you have joined us today as we continue to learn about spiders. I love spiders because there are so many of them. In fact, spiders live all around the world except for one continent. Do you remember our seven continents? Well, do you remember the coldest continent where insects don't live? Well, spiders don't live there either. It's Antarctica. You got it. In fact, there are 40,000 different species of spiders all over the world. Some of them are really big, like the tarantula. In fact, one of the tarantulas is called a bird-eating spider and it's as big as my hand. And then there are some tiny spiders. Most of the tiny spiders live in the garden. And look, this is a man's thumb and the spider is just a tiny, tiny spider. But you can find lots of them all around the world. Now, we have some special spiders in Australia that we should look after because they have poison or venom. And if they bite you, it can be really hurtful and you might even need to go to the hospital. Do you know which ones they are? Here's one right here. It's a red back spider. The red says, danger, danger, watch out. So we don't go anywhere near spiders because it might be red back or it might be a harmless daddy long legs. We don't know. So if you show an adult, they'll be able to help you. We have the red back spider and we also have the funnel web. These ones live into the ground, have make a big long tunnel and they live under the ground and have a funnel on the top, a web on the top, but it's called a funnel web. Now all spiders do make webs, but they make so many different types of webs. This one here is the most common web, but like I said, the funnel web spider lives under the ground, so its web is under the ground. There's some other spiders, like a door trap spider that also lives under the ground, and lots of others. But this is one of my favorites over here. I'm not sure if you can see it clearly, but he's a skinny, skinny spider, and he has a web that he makes like a net, and he waits He's so skinny because he waits and waits for the prey to come and then he catches his prey with the net and he puts it on it and wraps it all up where this type of web is out for all insects to fly into the sticky sticky web. I have this round paper plate that I've painted black and put some holes in it so that we can make a web. Would you like to see how we do it? I have this long string here that's like the silk that the spiders make. Now, when the spider makes the silk, it comes out and it's very, very sticky. I think that's long enough because we need a long piece of string to make a beautiful web because the spiders, when they make the webs, they just go along, along. So we're gonna start that first. I'm going to tie it in here, put it through a hole, and tie it on. I wonder if you've got something you might be able to do this with. It might be a paper plate like me, or you might be able to find something different to do it with. And then we've made it a very, very long, 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 get to the end. 
And we're going to be like this one and go from one side of the plate to the other. So we're going to go straight and pull it nice and tight. Can we see how tight it goes? There you go, straight across to anchor our spider web. Now, if we look at this piece of paper, we can see how the spider is made up, all its different body parts. Can you see how many legs a spider has? That's right, eight. Can you count them? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, we're going to put another anchor point in. So the spider goes across and he anchors this one in. Cross, cross, cross. Like this. Crosses the spider web. Now that we have all of the anchor points, we can start with the web that goes around and around, and this is when it gets stickier. So a spider like this doesn't need to use the long, long string like us because it has a spinneret and it jumps from one to the other and the silk sticks, secures it and jumps again, secures it. If you look at my spider web, you can see all of the places that the spider has secured its silk. And once it has gone all the straight, it starts in the middle and goes round and round and round, securing it with its spinneret all the way around, making sticky, sticky silk. So that when a fly comes along, bzz, 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 it gets caught in the sticky, sticky web. And look, it makes the web move. The spider feels the web move, goes along to the fly and wraps it around in more silk. If the fly makes a hole in the spider web, do you know what the spider does? It fixes it again with its spinneret. So good. And if the spider web gets too old, the spider is really smart. Instead of wasting it, the spider eats all the silk up again and uses it another day. Such a smart spider. The spider has eight legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This helps the spider to crawl around. It also, we're just looking at the underneath of the spider, not the top. And if you look here, this is where the book lung is. Do you know what that's for? It's so the spider can breathe. So instead of breathing out of its mouth, it's breathing from underneath. <gasps> it has the sternum here that connects all of the eight legs. So they've got lots and lots of movement. The spider can run fast. The mouth is here and the two fangs are at the top. The fangs are so that the spider can put the poison into the insect and eat it up for dinner. What a smart spider. I have loved learning about spiders with you today. I wonder if you could go find a spider. I wonder what type of spiders would be in your house or even in your garden. But remember, when you find a spider, ask an adult to come and see what type it is and see if it's safe to be around. Thanks for joining me. I can't wait to hear what you found. Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm about to sing a song about spiders. It's called Little Miss Muffet. Have you heard of that one before? 
Here we go, little Miss Muffet sat on her tuffet eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider that sat down beside her and frightened her away. Do you want to sing that again? Ready? Come join me. Little Miss Muffet sat on her tuffet eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider who sat down beside her and scared her away. <laughs> Welcome to story time today. I have a really fun story for you and it's about an old lady that swallows something. Hmm, I wonder if you know the story. But you know what, instead of reading the story today, we're going to do something a little bit different and I'm going to be the old lady for you. So I need a big circle to be my belly. So I'm going to clip this onto my shirt and this is going to be my big round belly. And then I have some animals here. I have a fly. Oh, I have a cat. Meow. And some other animals. Do you think you know the story now? I think you might. We're going to tell the story of there was an old lady who swallowed a fly. So let me find my fly. Whoop. There was an old lady who swallowed a fly. I don't know why she swallowed a fly. <gasps> Perhaps she'll get sick. Ooh. There was an old lady who swallowed a <gasps> spider. It wriggled and jiggled and jiggled inside her. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. I don't know why she swallowed a fly. <gasps> Perhaps she'll get sick. <gasps> there was an old lady who swallowed a bird. Oh. How absurd to swallow a bird. She swallowed the bird to catch the spider that wriggled and wriggled and tickled inside her. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. I don't know why she swallowed a fly. <gasps> Perhaps she'll get sick. <gasps> What's next? There was an old lady who swallowed a meow. Swallowed a cat. <gasps> I don't know how she swallowed a cat. She swallowed the cat to catch the bird. She swallowed the bird to catch the spider that wriggled and wriggled and jiggled inside her. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. I don't know why she swallowed a fly. Perhaps she'll get sick. Oh, my belly's getting very full. There was an old lady who swallowed a dog. Woof, woof. What a hog. To swallow a dog. She swallowed the dog to catch the cat. She swallowed the cat to catch the bird. She swallowed the bird to catch the spider that wriggled and wriggled and jiggled inside her. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. I don't know why she swallowed a fly. Perhaps she'll get sick. <gasps> uh oh, there was an old lady who swallowed a cow. I don't know how she swallowed a cow. She swallowed the cow to catch the dog. She swallowed the dog to catch the cat. She swallowed the cat to catch the bird. She swallowed the bird to catch the spider that wriggled and wriggled and jiggled inside her. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. I don't know why she swallowed a fly. Perhaps she'll get sick. Oh, my belly's getting very full. <gasps> there was an old lady who swallowed. Nay, a horse. <gasps> she was sick, of course. Oh, how did I fit all these things in my belly? It is looking very full. <gasps> Do you think you would swallow any of these animals? Oh, I don't think I would. <gasps> Especially that spider. Oh, I think it would tickle. <gasps> and it has lots of legs. It has eight legs. Have you ever swallowed a spider? <laughs> I don't think you have. But I know a song about a spider we could sing. Incy Wincy. Do you think you can sing it with me? It goes like this. Incy Wincy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed poor Incy out. Out came the sunshine and dried up all the rain. So Incy Wincy spider climbed up the spout again. Do you know that song? Maybe you could sing it with me this time. If you can, you can whoop, twist your fingers like this. Right, that's a bit tricky. You could crawl your spider up your arm. Let's have a go, ready? Incy wincy spider climbed up the water spout. 
Down came the rain and washed poor Incy out. Out came the sunshine and dried up all the rain. So Incy Wincy Spider climbed up the spout again. <gasps> I like that song about Incy Wincy. And I loved our story. It was a little bit different today. But you know what? We are going to go and see what experience we are going to do today. And I have a feeling there might be a creepy crawly spider in this. So let's go have a look. <laughs> Thanks, Daisy, for um, telling us that story about the old lady who swallowed a fly. You're so great at stories. Oh, thank you. I don't think I would want to swallow a fly. It would definitely Ooh. tickle my throat. <laughs> but what have we got today? So today we've got experience about how to make a spider, and all you'll need is your paper, your um, cardboard tube. Uh, so we've got some black paint and we've got some scissors. Now with these scissors, we're just gonna we'll have to get some um, help with from your parents. So you just have to cut. So how many legs does a spider have? I think a spider has eight legs. Eight, eight creepy crawly well, Let's legs. see how we go. I'm gonna try and cut four legs on one side and another four on the other side. Nice and carefully. Very, very careful. One, two, three, four. Make sure they're the same length. And then on our other side. One, two, three, four. Okay, I now we just have to bend it all out. And put these back. Oh, I can see the legs starting to come on this side. <laughs> like this. And I'm just going to tuck in this like so. Wow. And then this is the fun part. Yep. Look, I can see all the legs already. Yeah. All right, here we go. The fun part, we got to dip it into the paint. side make sure we've got all the black paint on those legs and now we get to dip it on the paper gotta push all those legs down and make sure it works won't be a spider with six legs no we need all eight legs there did you know that they also have eight eyes <gasps> i didn't oh wow <laughs> Oh, should we put some more spiders on? Sure, yeah. We might have enough paint to do some more. Oh, push, 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 push. Two, three. Whoa. Can you see? <laughs> and then we might have an, oh, we might need a little bit more. Do one more. Oh, I'll push these ones down. Thank you, Stacey. You. Let's see. Whoa! Wow. Look at that! <laughs> so now we might just use a texter to um, make those bodies a bit more round. So I'm just going to join the dot. Ooh, are you going to draw your eight eyes? I sure am. Make Can sure. you imagine having eight eyes? Oh. I couldn't. <laughs> join a little lap. There we are. See? <gasps> nice round bodies. <laughs> okay. And we might do them a bit all oh, different sizes. So one, can you count with me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we'll make the little eyeballs in there. <laughs> oh! Look how creepy it looks with all those eyes. Can you see the eight eyes? <laughs> we'll make sure all our other spiders have their eight eyes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one more. Two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. There we are. That's 
spotted, so oh, I'm ready to go. Can we say the spotted? <laughs> Creepy goals. Now with this experience, you might want to add, what do they like to make? I think they like to make a web. Mm. How do you draw a spider web? Well, I like to start, maybe you can do this at home, start with a, a cross. One line down and one line across. <laughs> and then we'll make another cross going over that cross. It looks a little bit like a star now, it doesn't does. it? <laughs> and now what we can do is we can join all those lines together like this. So that's our first part of the web. Can you see it? And then you can just make another one and then that will make a web. There we are. There's our web for our spiders. Wow, I love it. And it's so easy to make. So easy. We hope you've had fun exploring spiders with us today. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.